Now it's true that as we age, we lose muscle mass and strength, a process called sarcopenia, and we lose bone density. But that is if we aren't taking action to avoid it. Now most people think that being generally active is enough to slow the decline down and to stop this from happening. However, we need to be a little bit more consistent and specific in how we train, because if we're not specifically training for muscle strength, then we're likely to be losing it. And if we're losing that, we're likely losing bone density at the same time. If this muscle loss is happening, then initially you probably won't notice much, but eventually things that you could do with ease might start to feel a little bit more difficult. And then as you continue, you might start to feel like small aches and pains and niggles start to occur when you do these things. Because we know that the loss of muscle strength can be associated with higher levels of tendon pain, and also higher levels of pain or symptoms with arthritic knees or other arthritic joints. Now if these pains and symptoms deteriorate, then you might consider starting to give up some of the sports and active hobbies that you enjoy to do. And unfortunately by doing this, you're probably going to create an environment where the loss of muscle strength and loss of bone density can accelerate and then start to affect more things in your day-to-day -day life. Fast forward a few years and even a decade or two and you might start to feel like your balance is deteriorating. A loss of muscle strength has been shown to be associated with a higher risk of falls. Due to reduction in bone density, these falls could lead to a fracture, which may well need an operation and a period of recovery. Again, that period of reduced mobility is going to create an environment for sarcopenia and osteoporosis to accelerate even further. It's said that 20% of people who suffer a hip fracture over the age of 60 within a year will enter long-term care and not come back out again. Sarcopenia, that loss of muscle strength and muscle mass, is often prevalent with the following diseases. Cardiovascular disease, dementia, diabetes, and respiratory disease. You can start to see that by allowing sarcopenia to slowly take its toll over time can be associated with a lot of negative outcomes. This is why strength training as an older adult is so crucial to a healthy, active future. The good news is you have the potential to build muscle strength at any age. We just need to be specific and consistent with the training that we do. And the World Health Organization say that we should be doing two to three sessions of muscle strengthening per week. And they actually say that anyone over the age of 65 should be doing at least three sessions of muscle strengthening. If you've left it until now to get started, then you are likely gonna to need to modify and adapt exercises in your program as you start and as you move forwards, but it is possible to build muscle strength no matter what your starting point is. If you're looking for some help on how to get started, then do check out my free ebook by clicking the link in the description. Or if you're particularly nervous, then do seek out the help of a personal trainer or a rehab professional that can help you take those first steps and help build a bit of momentum so that you can then continue on your own if you want to at that point. Please don't ignore this. Sarcopenia is something that has a potential to affect all of us. Take action today and don't let frailty become a normal part of getting older.